I cannot believe the year is over. I didn't even read Infinite Jest like I planned. I still know where the time went. I swore I'd learn how to tame this copier, but clearly, that's not the case. How much paper I'm wasting? Okay. Let's do this. Blood Oath. Let's swear to do something better next year. You want me to do a blood oath? But you, you realize how crazy that... Beth, put that away. I'm saying I want to do better with my money. You know, like, start fresh. Start fresh, yeah. Like the last scene in Shawshank Redemption. No, Beth, I mean, start the year off on the right foot financially. However the heck you even do that. Ah, the old New Year's resolution guilt. Been there. But you've got the right idea. Giving your finances a little reboot is a smart move. Starting fresh financially can be easier than you think, and just so we're clear up front, I'm not talking about wiping all your debts. Those will still be there in the morning. I'm talking about putting yourself in the best possible position to make the most of your money. So grab that champagne glass and get ready to make some savvy New Year's resolutions. Your financial reboot should have three parts. First, rebudget. Take an honest look at what you need to spend money on versus what you actually spend money on. Can you cut out some useless costs, like the money that fuels your shoe addiction? Can you be more efficient with the money you have to spend, like shopping at a cheaper grocery store? Rebudgeting doesn't have to be a bad thing, though. Maybe you're in line for a raise this year and you have to decide where that extra money is going to go. Making a plan ahead of time will help you follow through when the big day comes. Second. Take a look at your debt profile, good or bad, and decide if you could be doing more to pay it down. For example, if you're currently paying through the nose in credit card interest, or maybe you just want to shave some years off your mortgage, now is the time to think about how the next 12 months can bring you closer to your financial goals. Finally, identify your bad financial habits and make a promise to fix them. This part is tough, I won't lie to you, but being real with yourself about the things you shouldn't be doing can make a big difference. It's easy throughout the course of the year to fall into the mistake of overcharging a high interest credit card or skimping on your 20% savings goals. But when the new year arrives, you can rededicate yourself to responsible financial habits. Now, if you need help convincing yourself to sit down and read an American classic or even learn how to perform from a basic, basic office function, I'm not sure I can help you. I'm actually not sure anyone can help you for that matter. But if your goal is being a little smarter financially, you now have the tools to make it happen. Hey there, I'm thinking we should see more of each other. If you'd like to watch more of my explanations, subscribe to Mashable's YouTube channel right there.